Hi everyone. So today I've got an unboxing. This is from my good friend, Clarissa, AKA Karamia's Corner here on YouTube. Um, this is probably her Christmas box to me. So let's go ahead and open this. Um, I don't think I have one of my cutters here. Great. So I guess we have to use the scissors. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm actually uh, getting over having COVID for the first time. Um, fortunately, it was a very mild case. Um, I actually caught it over Thanksgiving. Yeah, sucks because I'm here at home and the rest of my family are all at my brother's house celebrating Thanksgiving. So um, I started coming down with it literally like about lunchtime on. Um, Thanksgiving Day and um, it was kind of weird because you know it was a slight fever I woke up congested um, I had body aches it was just a really strange thing and I slept most of the day the next day I woke up I was really really um, congested very very exhausted and I did take a COVID test and that came out positive and so I took another one, came out positive, so I had to take myself over to a um, urgent care, which they confirmed that I had COVID, and they even told me that it was better that I had COVID than the flu, because the flu was a lot worse. So um, yeah, so it pretty much took me about, I would say five days, four days, four or five days to get over the symptoms. Um, they didn't prescribe, well they did, they prescribed me some cough medicine because I said that the phlegm was so thick that it was um, making it hard to kind of dislodge from my throat. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time here. Hold on, let me get my... So, yeah, I worked from home for three days and then um, was able to finally go back to work on Thursday. By Thursday, I was pretty much, you know, fine. But that Saturday and Sunday after Thanksgiving, I was just basically knocked out. I mean, yeah. I did almost no shopping at all, which sucked because I really wanted to go um, do some shopping at the bin stores because that's, of course, the best day to go, but there's no way that I could force myself out of bed to go, so. Yep, um, I'm sorry I'm having such a hard time here trying to open this box. Okay, it's been so long since I've done an unboxing. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Let me, let's just do it this way. Okay, so no particular order. I'm gonna pull this out. Well, looks like I have a My Melody bag here that she sent um, probably from Daiso I'm sure with some snacks well this is interesting I'm not sure what kind of snackies but I like the way they look oh I love this one uh, my warm my favorite candy is like gummy candy so very happy about that thank you Clarissa all right let's pull out oh more snacks Ooh, what is this? Some kind of a biscuit and with milk tea. <laughs> I'm gonna try that because lo and behold, that's kind of funny. Right in front of me, I do have a bag of <laughs> milk tea that I had ordered from um, Amazon a while back. So, okay, let's just go ahead and oh, we'll pull this out but I will not open it yet. We got some matcha pocky. Always good to have. Oh, I wanna try this for sure. Tonkatsu ramen. That looks good. Um, what else? Oh, we've got another bag here. A clear bag from Daiso. I love these bags. I always make use of them. Okay, so we'll just pull out. So we have mask and tape here. Um, some washi. That one's nice. 
Ooh, some die cut seals or stickers, food related. Let's see what's on this side. I have a vitamin C essence mask. Always good to have because you, and oh, a steam eye mask. Well, that's interesting. I'm definitely gonna try that, especially now that it's been getting colder. So I have actually a box of the steam masks, not this one though, but I haven't tried them yet. So it'll be interesting. Okay, what else we got here? More snacks. Oh, coffee, matcha uh, mocha blend. Okay, five cups. This is interesting. I will definitely try that at work. Uh, what else we got? I'm trying to get if there's any other like snacks. Oh, she, Clarissa, you went out of your way and wrapped all this stuff. My goodness. Now you make me feel bad for not wrapping the stuff I sent you. Okay, so there's still some more in the box. We've got, these look like a shiitake, uh, not shiitake. They look like pencil boards. Um, yeah, they are. Oh, good, because this will work. What size is this? It doesn't say. I mean, I know it's got to be at least A5. It might be B6, but either way, I always love using these. Okay. So let's pull the rest of the small stuff out. Is there anything else? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's take all this off and get rid of the box. Sorry, it's been so long since I've done an unboxing. I'm kind of disorganized here. <laughs> okay, there we go. And uh, so let's put all of this out. Okay, so what should I open first here? Um, we'll start with the small ones. Okay, so I like the wrapping and of course she's got to include a note. <laughs> so let's see. Okay. Traditional Japanese. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, Clarissa, where did you get this wrapping? Because it's adorable. Are they Disney characters? I think they are now that I'm looking at it. Oh, look at this. This is interesting. So she said that these cards are Hayakunin Geshu, traditional Japanese waka poems. Okay, so these will be interesting to use with like my junk journal layouts or with my, um, what do you call it? I can't even think, it's been a while since I've actually crafted. Um, yeah, I like that, the fact that they've got illustrations on there. I guess I'll have to use Google Translate to um, find out what they say since they're supposed to be poems. Oh. I'm almost, uh, I kind of don't want to use them, Clarissa, because I like the way they look, but yeah, I'll try to figure something out with them. Um, since I have a lot of origami paper, I'm sure I can come up with something. Okay, so let's put that here. Um, next, this one right here. Okay, this does not have a note on it. <laughs> I just realized. So... Oh, washi! Always can use more washi. So we've got some um, Halloween washi. Okay. And then some fall washi. All right. Let's open this one. I love this. Something to add to your collection. Okay. So. See what this is. Uh 
Uh-oh. Oh, what is this? Clarissa. From Miniso. Oh, It's a... <laughs> it's my cancer... Oh, my zodiac sign. I'm a cancer. So it's a crab. Oh, how cute. This is so adorable. <laughs> I want to take her out. Open up, come on. I don't want to tear the box up just to get it out. Looking here are the other zodiac signs. Sorry, let me get that focused. That is too cute. Aw, look at her. She is so adorable. Make sure she's in focus there. <laughs> yeah, I will definitely take her out. I'm not always, always one to leave um, something like that unboxed. <laughs> it really depends on the doll. I do have some dolls that I've never taken out of the box, but then there's some that deserve to be taken out. Okay, so we've got the last one here, which is so nicely wrapped. I like this something you can always have for your journaling and of course wouldn't be complete without a card or a letter and look at that that is so pretty Merry Christmas and it's a pop-up <laughs> all right I like these colors on that card. Okay, so I don't want to cut the ribbon. All right, let's see what we got here. I'm trying to stay in focus, or at least in the camera. Oh, wow, Clarissa, where did you get this from? This is so nice. And I love that it's green. This green is one of my favorite colors. Oh, wow. I'm definitely gonna make use of this. Botanical made. Wind, Syria? Yeah, it says Wind Syria Mushroom Island. Oh, wow. Okay, let me go ahead and open this. So it's a notebook, material, paper, sticker, card, tape, envelope, note. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is best washi for you. Okay. All right. I guess you're going to re, re, um, restart my whole let's get back into crafting thing now. I've uh, fallen off in the last couple of months. Um, I've like just got like vintage uh, ephemera boxes just you know collecting here i'm ordering them but i'm not using them so now that you've given me this i'm gonna have to film some videos of the unboxing of them and start using them again so first off i have washi here let me see okay get closer okay we've got some memo cards to-do list and little record type. These are just tags and various types of other pieces. It looks like I don't want to take them out because then it's going to be hard to put back in while I'm filming. I've got some envelopes here. Oh, these are nice. Okay, I'll put them here. 
this one right here. Oh, it's a planner. Oh, ooh, I like this. The fact that it's grid. This would be a nice stamp book for like, you know, um, like for, especially in Japan for the train stations or like the highway rest stops, you know, all that kind of stuff. That one is really nice. And then we've got Rubons here. Some strips. Oh, look at that. Stickers. Ooh, I love this. Oh my God. This is so nice, Clarissa. Where did you get this box? Look at that. All of this. This is so up my alley. <laughs> In terms of style. Oh, I love it. I really love this. <gasps> Look at that. It's so pretty. It's like you don't want to use it, but no. I've learned that I've got to start using my stuff. I can't just hoard it. Okay, so I'm going to put them back. All nicely in there. Well, thank you so much, Clarissa. I do still have another box I haven't mailed yet, um, but I'm still trying to fill up the rest of it, you know, because you don't want to waste any space in a box. Um, but I will try to send it off soon, before, obviously before Christmas. So that way, you know, you can have a, an actual Christmas unboxing from me. All right, well, that is everything that Clarissa, AKA Karamia's Corner had sent me. And so I hope that everybody's had a great weekend. And um, yeah, Christmas is coming up. Hope you got, guys got your shopping done. Um, I think I'm pretty much done for, with my nieces and nephews in terms of shopping for them. Um, I just have to start wrapping them, <laughs> finding the stuff and then wrapping it um, since we already have our tree up. Okay, so um, like I said, have a great weekend. Bye.